In today's rapidly evolving cloud landscape, the demand for skilled cloud security engineers is higher than ever. As businesses migrate their operations and data to the cloud, ensuring the security and the integrity of these environments is crucial. Now, did you know that the estimated yearly cost of cybercrime in 2025 is expected to be $10.5 trillion? This shows you the importance of cloud security engineers who know how to protect businesses, assets, and data. Now for beginners, the path to becoming a cloud security engineer can seem daunting and overwhelming. The cloud is huge and security is a critical component that cannot be overlooked. As more businesses trust their sensitive data and operations to the cloud, the need for security measures has become a non-negotiable. This is where cloud security engineers come in. The guardians of the digital realm, ensuring that cloud environments remain secure, compliant, and resilient against the ever-evolving cyber threats. Now, let's also be honest here, because cloud security engineers are very well paid. The average salary in the US is $136,000. So I totally understand why you want to pursue this career because money is a driving factor for us all. So in this video, we'll explore a complete roadmap that will guide you from being a complete beginner to becoming a confident and competent cloud security engineer. We'll break down the journey into manageable steps, providing you with the essential skills, knowledge areas, and best practices that you need to master along the way. And as a bonus, I'm also doing a very cool giveaway in this video, so stay tuned for that. Before we get started, you should check out my weekly cloud newsletter where I share free resources, tutorials, boot camps, and so much more helping you make your cloud move. Now to make things easier, I've split this video into four simple steps, foundations, cloud security fundamentals, certifications, and practical experience. So let's get started with the foundations. The first step in your journey to becoming a cloud security engineer is to establish a strong foundation in core IT and security concepts. You wanna start by familiarizing yourself with networking fundamentals, understanding IP addressing, subnetting, and common protocols like TCP and IP. You should also explore network security concepts such as firewalls, VPNs, and secure communication channels. A solid grasp of networking will enable you to design and troubleshoot secure cloud architectures effectively. Secure networks is something that you will do in your role as a cloud security engineer. So you need to first have the foundational understanding of what you are actually securing. How can you secure something you do not already understand? Next, I recommend building an understanding of cybersecurity principles. This means taking time to learn about network security, encryption, threat modeling, and incident response. As cyber threats evolve, cloud security engineers must stay ahead of the latest security trends and vulnerabilities, applying this knowledge to safeguard cloud-based systems. Okay, so once you have that under your belt, dive into operating systems, especially Linux. Learn the basics of system administration, including user management, file permissions, and system hardening techniques. Many cloud services and tools are built on top of these operating systems. So understanding their intricacies will prove invaluable in your cloud security career. And finally, you wanna gain a solid understanding of cloud computing fundamentals. Learn about the different service models, infrastructure service, platform as a service, and software as a service, along with the deployment models public cloud, private cloud, and hybrid cloud. Understand the shared responsibility model, which defines the division of security responsibilities between a cloud provider and the customer. As a cloud security engineer, it's important to highlight tools that can help you build and deploy applications securely in the cloud. So I wanna talk about a tool that not only speeds up container image builds, but also plays a crucial role in the world of cloud security, Docker Build Cloud. And Docker have kindly sponsored this video, so big shout out to them. Now, as a cloud security engineer, you will work with containerized applications. Containers have become a fundamental building block for modern cloud native architectures, thanks to their portability, scalability, and isolation properties. However, Ensuring the security of these containerized applications is a critical responsibility for all cloud security engineers. And one common pattern in container security is to build secure container images from the ground up. 
This involves selecting trusted base images, minimizing the attack surface by including only the necessary components and regularly updating and patching any dependencies. Docker Build Cloud can help streamline this process by providing a fast and efficient way to build container images, both locally and in your CI CD pipelines. Using Docker Build Cloud, you can leverage cloud infrastructure optimized for your workloads without the need for complex configurations. This service utilizes a remote build cache, ensuring fast builds anywhere and for all team members. This shared cache can significantly reduce build times as team members can benefit from each other's build results. But the benefits of Docker Build Cloud go beyond just speed. By building container images in a controlled cloud environment, you can ensure a consistent and secure build process. Docker Build Cloud provides isolation between the cloud builders with dedicated resources and encryption in transit, adding an extra layer of security to your build pipeline. Docker Build Cloud simplifies multi-platform builds, providing AMD and ARM builders out of the box. This is particularly important in the context of cloud security, as you may need to deploy your applications across diverse cloud environments and architectures. As a cloud security engineer, embracing tools like Docker Build Cloud can help you streamline your container image builds, enhance the security of your build process, and ultimately contribute to a more secure an efficient cloud deployment workflow. If you're interested in exploring how Docker Build Cloud can benefit your cloud security journey, be sure to click the link in the description below and for a chance to win the Docker Swag giveaway. With a solid foundation in place, it's time to dive deeper into the world of cloud security. Understanding the core concepts and best practices of cloud security is crucial for designing and implementing secure cloud environments. Start by exploring the shared responsibility model in detail. Learn and understand the division of security responsibilities between the cloud provider and the customer. The provider, such as AWS, secures the underlying infrastructure, while the customer is responsible for securing their applications, their data, and their access management. Understand what security measures the provider takes care of and what falls onto your responsibility as a cloud security engineer. Next, dive into identity and access management. IAM is the cornerstone of cloud security, controlling who can access your cloud resources and what actions that they can perform. Learn about users, roles, policies, and permissions. Understand the principle of least privilege, which dictates granting only the minimum permissions necessary for users to perform their tasks. Another fundamental part is network security. Learn how to design secure cloud network architectures such as VPCs, subnets, security groups, and network access control lists. Understand the concepts of network segmentation, traffic filtering, and secure connectivity between on-premise and cloud environments, because a lot of businesses are still using on-prem and starting to migrate to the cloud. Some even have that hybrid model with on-prem and cloud combined. Okay, so what about data? Well, obviously data protection and encryption are key in the cloud. And in fact, the average cost of data breach is $4.5 million. You need to learn how to classify and discover sensitive data, ensuring that it received the appropriate level of protection. Understand key management concepts and best practices, including secure key storage, rotation, and access control. And when things go wrong, you will use your incident response and forensic skills. For this, you need to know how to develop a robust incident response plan that outlines the steps to detect, contain, and recover from security incidents. Along with incident management, identifying, assessing, and mitigating risk is a key part of the cloud security engineer's role. This involves conducting regular security audits, vulnerability assessments, and penetration testing to evaluate the security posture of cloud services and cloud environments. We can't talk about security without the really fun parts, compliance and governance. I recommend familiarizing yourself with common compliance frameworks, such as high PAA, PCI DSS, and GDPR. Understand the specific requirements and controls outlined in these frameworks. 
As a cloud security engineer, you will assess your cloud environment for compliance gaps and conduct security audits to maintain a strong security posture. To understand cloud security fundamentals, you need to dive into the security documentation and best practices provided by major cloud providers like AWS, Azure, and Google Cloud. AWS is the biggest, just in case you didn't know. Okay, so step three is to get certified. Earning a cloud security certification is a powerful way to validate your knowledge and skills, making you more marketable to potential employers. Certifications demonstrate your commitment to excellence and your ability to design and implement secure cloud solutions. Before diving into cloud provider certifications like AEWS, I recommend starting with certifications like CompTIA Security Plus and Network Plus. These certifications provide a solid foundation in security and networking concepts, which are essential for any cloud security professional. They cover topics such as threat management, cryptography, network security, and compliance, giving you a well-rounded understanding of security principles. After this, you are then ready to focus on a cloud-specific certification. Go for the one that you are most interested in or the one that aligns with your organization's technology stack. The three major cloud providers are AWS, Azure, and Google Cloud, each offering their own set of security certifications. AWS is the biggest cloud provider around the world, just in case you didn't know. For AWS, the AWS Certified Security Speciality Certification is highly regarded. It focuses on securing AWS environments, covering topics such as identity and access management, infrastructure security, data protection, and incident response. When preparing for certifications, create a structured study plan and allocate dedicated time for learning. Combine theoretical knowledge with practical hands-on experience to solidify your understanding. Remember, certifications are not a one-time achievement, but rather a commitment to continuous learning. Cloud security is an ever-evolving field. So staying updated with the latest developments and recertifying when necessary is crucial for maintaining your expertise. Step four, is to gain practical experience. Practical experience is the cornerstone of becoming a proficient cloud security engineer. While theoretical knowledge is essential, hands-on experience allows you to apply your skills, encounter real-world challenges, and develop problem-solving abilities. Now, to really build practical skills, you need to understand the common hacks, attacks, and pitfalls in the cloud, and understand what they are, and then base your training, learning, and projects on that. If you understand these, then you know how to work backwards and secure cloud systems, architectures, and applications. It's worth starting by messing around on the cloud console with AWS and make use of their free tier accounts. These accounts offer limited resources that you can use to experiment with different security configurations and scenarios. Create virtual machines, configure network security groups, implement access controls, and simulate common security threats and practice incident response procedures. Now, you also need proficiency in scripting and automation tools because that's very important because it enables the creation of automated security solutions to efficiently monitor and respond to threats. This skill set helps in the implementation of security infrastructures code, IAC, and the integration of security into CI/CD pipelines promoting DevSecOps cultures. This is why I always say to my students in my cloud training program to focus on building general cloud skills as they are transferable when you specialize, such as into cloud security. And of course, scripting, infrastructure code, building CICD pipelines, these are transferable skills into cloud security. I also think that you should consider pursuing internships or entry-level cloud security positions to gain hands-on experience in professional work environments. Now, many organizations offer internships programs specifically tailored for aspiring cloud security professionals. These opportunities provide valuable exposure to real-world security challenges and allow you to work alongside experienced mentors. And if you have no previous experience, then focus on getting that first job. Because a lot of beginners focus on their money first rather than the skills that they will learn from the opportunity. Now, as you gain practical experience, document your projects and contributions in a portfolio. Showcase your technical skills, problem-solving abilities, and impact that you've made in securing cloud environments. 
Continuous learning is essential in the ever-evolving field of cloud security. Stay updated with latest security trends, best practices, and technologies by attending conferences, webinars, and workshops. Also try and participate in online training programs and pursue additional certifications to expand your knowledge and specialize in a specific area of cloud security, such as DevSecOps, infrastructure security, or even AI security. Remember, practical experience is an ongoing journey. Embrace the challenges, learn from the failures, and continuously refine your skills. The more you practice and apply your knowledge in real world scenarios, the more confident and competent that you'll become as a cloud security engineer. By following the roadmap outlined in this video, you've taken a significant step towards a rewarding and impactful career in securing the cloud. Remember, the path to expertise is not a one-time event, but rather a continuous process of learning, practicing, and adapting. Stay curious, stay motivated, and never stop exploring the vast landscape of cloud security. Now, don't forget to check out Docker Build Cloud linked in my description below and for a chance to get hold of the Docker giveaway. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.